beautiful people. So I'm not riding horses at the moment. Um, my life with horses is pretty sporadic. So I'm gonna use my channel to talk about my other animals and do some pet care videos and stuff. And then when I'm back around horses, it'll pick, that stuff will pick up as well. But I'll probably keep this channel as both horses and my other animals. I don't know if my name will change or what. I did have to change my Instagram name because I accidentally deleted um, my punk equestrian account. So now my my Instagram is Hot Blood Outlaw. Anyway, so today I'm going to do a little senior pet, senior dog care video, and I'm going to introduce you to my dog Reno. This is Reno. <laughs> he's not happy with me um, picking him up at the moment because he's. He was very comfortable. <coughs> he is 13 years old. Um, he is a Schnauzer Poodle mix, although I did do a DNA test with him, and he's also part Kishon. Um, so he's not supposed to shed, but he does, and I think that's because of his Kishon heritage. It also said that he's like part hound, and I'm like, I, okay. But whatever. So yeah, so this is Reno and he is my everything. I got him when I turned 20. He is missing teeth on this side and that is why his tongue hangs out, poor little guy. Um, his genetics have bad teeth so that's why many of them are missing. We got him in a place near Leon, Indiana and Leon is a movie that I really like. It's also called The Professional, or Leon the Prof Professional, and the actor in it is John Renault. And so I named my dog Reno. Everyone thinks it's the city, it's not, it's an actor who's French. <laughs> so anyway, that's my dog. He is my everything. Um, I've trained him myself, I did take him through classes. Uh, he's had a few issues with things. He has like a bump on his belly. Um, he doesn't really have many health issues now. He's still super energetic. He'll turn 14 in April, but I think he's doing pretty well. The vet seems to think he's doing pretty well. Anyway, so I am going to show you my care for my little senior dog, who is my everything. Here I am giving Reno his Smart Pack, which we get from SmartPack.com, obviously. And it is just for his joints. It's a senior dog soft chew or something like that. Um, I don't like how they come individually wrapped in plastic packaging, but I'll figure out a way around that eventually. But here, he loves it. He gets brushed probably at least once a week, but I try to do it more frequently than that. It's to help prevent his long hair from matting because he doesn't really shed a whole lot. He does shed a little bit, but not like a lot, a lot. And he, his hair does mat up if it's not taken care of properly. And it also helps um, his oils in his skin and keep his coat shiny and soft. This is his harness. It is a wonder walker. It just slips over his head and connects behind his legs. This is a Kurgo coat. Um, it keeps him dry and warm in these nasty Pacific West, Northwest winter months. Um, he doesn't have a lot of fur on his belly, so I like that it has this strip that connects under his belly and like more like a horse blanket kind of thing, but not entirely like a horse blanket, a little bit warmer than that, it just slips over his head. And he hates the fashion jackets that earn hoodies and things that just like he has to wear sleeves and stuff, he hates that, so this helps. And then we just have a chain leash, which serves no purpose other than the fact that we like the way it looks. Um, sturdy and he's had it forever. And 
then part of our routine is that we try to do 40 minutes of activity a day. And that's just what is average based on the Whistle Fit app that we have. Um, it's average for his size and age. If he was younger and maybe a different breed of a dog, he would be out a lot more. The Whistle does connect to his collar and it's really neat. It connects to my phone through the app, as I said and it tracks all of his activity throughout the day, when he's sleeping, when he's moving around, it can show like when he's playing and all kinds of different activities. And then it also shows me how often he's licking and scratching and I can send that information to the vet. And it also helps me keep track of reminders like when I should give him a supplement um, and then anything else that I feel like I need to remember. And it's a really handy app. And that is my video. I hope you enjoyed this senior dog care video and I hope it inspires you to take good care of your own senior dogs because uh, they are amazing animals and I love them so much. And if you want to see more videos like this about my other animals or anything else, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this and I will see you in my next video. Bye!